All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're very excited. The first guest tonight on the show is the anchorman on Saturday Night Live's weekend update. He's a beautiful person who never meant to hurt anybody. Please welcome a lovely little girl, Norm McDonald. <laughs> Again. Yeah, it's great to be here. It's fun. Yeah? You having a good time this summer? Yeah, yeah. I like the convention stuff, you know? Oh, well, you like the political stuff. I love it. That's what you yeah. like. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, you like the political stuff because it's your bread and butter, you know, the anchor yeah. guy on yeah, Turn Out Live? Yeah, keep up on it, you know? I've noticed now the gap has been narrowing between, uh, you know, Dole and Clinton. Mm -hmm. and apparently, Clinton's getting kind of nervous. I read one report. Last week, apparently, he uh, ate a uh, joint and smoked a Big Mac. He got all freaked out. <laughs> He got confused is what he got, huh, Norm? Yeah, I guess more confused. <laughs> <laughs> Dole has a chance, I think, you know. Mm -hmm. I read one thing where they were saying that Dole, experts say now that if he continues to campaign mm -hmm. every day vigorously, then in November uh, he'll have a giant heart attack. They say that. Really? Yeah. That's what the experts are saying. The experts are saying that because vigorous campaigning is uh -huh. not good for a guy. <laughs> See, I That's thought old. you'd go a different way with that. I don't know. You and your tricks. <laughs> are you really you're sitting around, you're reading the paper, you, are you excited about this? I'm really excited, you know, because I think, uh, first of all, I want Dole to win because I can do him. I'm the, uh, that's the only guy I can do. <laughs> that, that's as good a reason. That, i got to say, that is... Yeah. That's as good, that is as good a reason for supporting right. one guy and not the other that I've ever heard. Yeah, I can do J Jimmy Cagney, but he never comes up, <laughs> you know? Like, there's never a sketch where he uh, seems to... I can do Slim Pickens. You want to hear Slim Yeah, Pickens? I want to hear Slim Pickens, sure. He goes, uh, well, 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 if it ain't Conan O'Brien. Hey, that's a pretty good Slim you know Pickens. Slim Pickens right? I don't know, these kids today, they probably don't know. Yeah, they think that's Jimmy Carter you're doing. <laughs> what do they know? <laughs> But, um, yeah. Uh -huh. You're thinking about other things, too, you well, know? Well, I'm trying to, I hope Dole, the problem with Dole is, is he's a bit, uh, what do you call it? What's that word for, uh, I don't know enough words. Yeah, <laughs> I can get in the way sometimes. Yeah, he's, uh, what do you call that word where you're, uh, you're too, uh, 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 like, um, rigid. You're too rigid? What's that word? It's rigid. Rigid, yeah. 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 I think you're rigid. He's too rigid, you know? <laughs> And, uh -huh. like, for instance, when it comes to movies, he's always talking about what movies he doesn't like and everything. You know, he doesn't like this movie and that. The other day, they said, look, wh what movies don't you like? He said, he said, I don't really like any of the talkies. He said, you know? <laughs> so since, like, 1922, he hasn't really loved a movie. Yeah, he just hasn't let himself since, go. Uh, <laughs> Wings or whatever. Was that a movie? I don't know. The Jazz Singer, the jazz I think, singer. was the first talkies. But these guys, you know what I do enjoy about... Uh, O.J. is, he's a tough guy, you know? O.J.? Uh, no, not O.J. Who are we talking about? <laughs> Didn't he just say O.J.? Yeah, I said O.J. Was it me? Am I crazy? <laughs> We're going to have video put. This is the only show in the world that needs instant replay on the interview. <laughs> no, he definitely said O.J. No, why did I say O.J.? What? I was like, Dole. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe you got an O.J. joke coming up a little uh, later on. No, no, that's not it. I don't know what the connection is. <laughs> Okay. Maybe it's like O.J. is orange juice and Dole is banana or something. Like that. <laughs> but uh, Dole, right? Uh-huh. He's Dole is pineapple. Yeah, oh, Dole. Dole's a pineapple? Oh, no, it's a... <laughs> I wasn't going to... Andy. Sorry. I was... <laughs> I was gonna let it go. I'm just feeling bad for this guy. Point of, point like, of wait a minute. Order. There's another flaw here. No, pineapple is, is a citrus thing too. Like, oh, you're like an it. old man we picked up and took out to the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Gramps. You're doing fine. Yeah. Hey, we ought to be getting you back now, yeah. Andy. Don't you think? Uh, enough free association <laughs> rambling. So you think Dole is what? I, I, like, I don't know. <laughs> you don't care I'm, anymore. I do like that he picked Kemp. I like Kemp. Oh, yeah? Um, he had a strange thing. Did you hear that quote he said? He said uh, he's, he's closer to minorities than the other candidates because he says he showered with a lot of black guys. Did you hear that? What? He says because he used to be on the Buffalo Bills. That's right. He was a football yeah. player. Is that true? He said that? Yeah, he said that the other day. He said he has a closer feel for the minorities because he's showered with so many black guys. Mm hmm but, you know, I don't know if that's well, how you want to pick your president, right? <laughs> that is, 
shower with a lot of black guys? I don't know. I mean, you're picking Dole because he can do an impression. Yeah, <laughs> you, right. you know, your reasons aren't much better. If I was going to pick a guy just uh, because he showered with a lot of black guys, I'd pick uh, Andy or something like that. You know? <laughs> you know? People don't have to know that. No, he, he used to play. He used to play ball. He used to play college ball. Sure, he was. Yeah, yeah. in every branch of the armed forces. <laughs> Uh, oh my God! I like football, I like uh -huh. sports, you know. You like sports? Uh, I love sports. I love. Uh, did you ever see uh, kickboxing? I, I, never actually, I mean, I've heard about kickboxing and stuff. I've never actually gone to a kickboxing. It's yeah. a great sport. The, the idea is it combines the style and grace of boxing, mm -hmm. right, with uh, kicking. <laughs> It sounds kind of good, but it's a good. Uh huh. Kickboxing is good. If you want to see, uh, if you like kickboxing, uh -huh. I'll tell you the best kickboxing movie around. What's that? Kickboxer. <laughs> it's the best one. It's the best one to see, right? Best one of all. <laughs> it's one a lot of bad ones. You know what the worst one is? What's that? Kickboxer 2. That's the worst. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's a great movie, but it's just, it's just the worst one. Uh -huh. There were three all together. Yeah, right there. Okay. Can you hang on one second? Yeah, we're gonna do a commercial break. We'll have a little more with Norm McDonald when we come back. Hey everybody, we're back. Sitting here with Norm McDonald. Now, Norm, you've had uh, Saturday Night Live has a re really long. I used to work there. It's a long summer break, you guys. Yeah, get. yeah. It's like school. You get a whole summer off. It's pretty sweet. Have you been uh, performing at all this uh, summer? Yeah, I did. Uh, I've been doing stand-up, you know, <laughs> uh, clubs and stuff. Sure. And, uh, oh, man. I, uh, I didn't realize how much... I forgot how much I stunk at it. Like, I'm not good, and everyone hates me. I did. Uh, I went to the, uh, uh, this gig right in town. You ever hear of the Bowery? Yeah. Heard the, yeah. You know that place, right? Sure, yeah. I've heard and, of it. Yeah, it's Skid Row. Mm -hmm. And so there's all these homeless bums on the street and everything like that. Yeah. And you have to go through it. So I went to this club, and I bombed. They hated my gut, so I was all mad. You know, I get mad when I don't do good. And then, so I went out of the thing, you know, I walked out. You walk like that, really? Yes. <laughs> You've got that problem, I remember. Uh -huh. So I walk out of the club. So I get out, and uh, this homeless guy, you know, this bum, he starts walking beside me, bugging me, you know. Hey, <laughs> you're not supposed to call him bums anymore. No. Yeah, but anyway. Hobo, you know. <laughs> so, a tramp. A tramp. A tramp. Yeah. Okay, riding the rails. Yeah, right. just a layabout. And he's, he's like coming up to me, and he's like bugging me. I want money. They always want money, you know. <laughs> yeah. They never have money, you know. So. <laughs> That's the problem with them hobos, yeah. yeah. So they're like, hey, give me some money, give me some money. And, he, you know, they, sometimes they'll walk with you. So I said, look, man, I said, I'm going to give you some money if you just go away. I'm mad at him, you know. I was mm -hmm. mad. I go here, and I go, so I pull in my pocket, and I just give him a bunch of money, like change, you know. Yeah, I yeah. give it to him. I go, go on, get out of here, you dirty bum, you know. So <laughs> he goes away. So then I go to get the subway, you know, <laughs> and uh, I look at my pocket. I've given the guy, I don't have my token, my subway token. Oh, you gave it away yeah. accidentally. And I don't have a wallet or anything, so I was thinking I was going to try to jump the thing, mm -hmm. but uh, at that then, you know, I get in trouble for that. So <laughs> I, uh, I said, I got to find that bum, that homeless <laughs> bum, you know? Uh -huh. So I have to go back, and I'm walking back the street, and there's all homeless bums, they're all lying there on the street. Yeah. And I don't know which one is which, I can't remember. <laughs> so I'm like lifting up guys' hats and stuff, you know, and looking under newspapers. Uh -huh. So finally I find this character, I go, hey, you, I go, give me some of that money back, you know? And uh, he's like, no, go away. He's turned mean, you know, because I was mean to him earlier. He goes, ah, get out. This is like you know? a biblical tale. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the New Testament. All right, go so ahead. I, you know, I felt sorry for him. He had no place. And so uh, I go, okay, forget about it. And I go to turn around. And then I grab his cup like real quick and I start running. <laughs> I like how your, your running is like walking just turned up like 10 right, degrees. Right. Okay. <laughs> so it was great. I got, and, and, and then I felt bad, though, because uh, when I looked through, I had like a, uh, about a buck more than I gave him. You know? Oh, that's not right. That's <laughs> not right at all. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah. Well, sometimes they say if you give, you'll receive more in return. <laughs> that's the sweetest story I've ever heard. Yeah. I'm all choked up now. Now, I heard also you've been, uh, you did a little cross... probably just down on his luck. Yeah, that's what, that's what happens. <laughs> Why'd you feel you had to throw that in? I don't know, you know. <laughs> Okay, well, let me ask you about, because I, I want to get to this, you took a cross-country trip, which I thought was... Yeah, I went from Los Angeles to here. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. And, uh, uh, that's, that's cross country. We're in New York. Cross yeah. country. And uh, it's a long way, you know. And uh, I drove across. I just got in the day before yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I don't drive, you know. I can't drive. Never learned. Okay. Well, who was driving then? This other guy. I was driving with two other guys, me and my two friends. And I had to sit in the back seat the whole way. Ever? That stinks, huh? You know? <laughs> Yeah, it's not as much fun in the back seat. Yeah, you know? there's three of us, you know. So yeah. I'm obviously the third favorite guy. I'm in the back seat. So, <laughs> and they're having fun up there. Mm -hmm. Three days, man, all alone in the back seat. Holy Lord, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty bad, being yeah. in the back seat. Because yeah. the front seat's fun. You're up there, you're having a ride. You're, they're having a party up there. You know, they got <laughs> cakes and everything. I couldn't uh -huh. even... They had cakes? I really? They had some cakes up there. <laughs> I was so far back. And, you know, you can't do it. Sometimes you go, hey, forget this crap about front seat, back seat. I'll just stick my head in the front seat, you know? And you go, hey, hey, guys, hey, it's me from the back seat. You know? <laughs> and they don't want to see it. They don't care about it. Oh, that's terrible. You don't know what to do. I Did you see down. any interesting things along the way? You know? No, just, uh, I see, like, other people in other back seats. That's about all. <laughs> you know? You can commiserate with them. All right, well, we got to go, I'm afraid. All right. We're out of time. But turn out why this is exceeding of the uh, exceeding. My God, <laughs> it spread from you to me. <laughs> no, all, right. all right, SNL season premiere September 28th. This is cool. Tom Hanks and Tom Petty. That's yeah, a great show. Yeah, he's the guy from uh, For Forrest Gump. <laughs> the guy from Forrest Gump. Good thing you cleared that up. All and right, Tom Petty and the Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, you know him. Yeah, he's with guys. the songs and all. He's, <laughs> he's playing that crazy rock and roll. Oh, it's great, it's man. It's not going to make great. it. I think the kids are crazy. All and right, Tom Hanks is going to be great. Yeah, he's going to make it. <laughs> That's it. That's keep it. your eye on that, Tom Hanks. He's going to yeah. do all right. Norm Macdonald, we'll Thanks, keep our eye man. on you too. You, know, you make with the funny. Norm Macdonald, everybody. Alonzo Morning, John Sebastian, the J Band coming up. We'll be right back.